Here is another uh, GI organ. In this case, it happens to be the esophagus. And here is what they call a barium swallow, in which the patient swallows barium, which is radiodense. And although you can see this normal streaking along the mucosa here in the upper portion of the esophagus, you could see an area here in which you have bulging and retention of the barium. And grossly, the specimen might look something like this, in which you have a relatively flat mucosa up here which you could see uh, as having a nice squamous appearance. But then suddenly, the mucosa changes to a different type of appearance. And not soon after that, you could see a big tumor uh, obstructing the lumen and lo looks like might be uh, widely infiltrating throughout the wall, too. This is a cancer of the esophagus. and. If the esophagus was 100% squamous all the time with no ectopic uh, glandular mucosa from uh, Barrett's reflux, or if there were no submucosal glands, then theoretically all of the carcinomas of the esophagus would be squamous cell carcinomas. And actually, most of them are. But many are adenocarcinomas because sometimes you have gastric type epithelium within the esophagus, which is glandular. And with enough time and enough other carcinogenic factors, this can turn into cancer. You're going to have to take it on faith that this is an esophagus because you don't usually think of the esophagus as having a glandular uh, mucosa. However, do I see a little remnant of squamous over here? Yes, I do. Uh, do I see the little remnant of squamous over here? Yes, I do. But in this area, the mucosa is benign, but glandular, looking very much like gastric mucosa. However, as you go deeper, somewhere along the line, you could see these uh, dark, irregular, and sometimes even abortive-looking glandular structures infiltrating throughout the uh, smooth muscle of the esophagus, sometimes occurring almost as individual cells, sometimes forming what you might agree look like little haphazard glands or what they call abortive glandular formation. You can see that basically this process goes on all the way through the wall, looking very much the same everywhere. Uh, malignant glandular cells associated with some scattering of inflammatory cells like you see out here, haphazardly infiltrating these little smooth muscle bundles here and here and here. And basically looking that way all the way through the wall of this esophagus. And here's some smooth muscle out here, and here's some here, and here's some here. And all the rest of these dark, ugly, nasty guys are uh, adenocarcinoma cells, not looking as nice as they did in the mucosa, in which we just saw simply a gastric type of epithelium. Here is an area of necrosis. Whether this was a blood vessel or not, I don't know. It might have been, but it looks to me like it has kind of a fibrinoid necrosis by being invaded from the surrounding uh, tumor cells in all directions. Uh, here's some more smooth muscle that's invaded. And here's an area now, perhaps we're near the outside of the uh, esophageal wall where they can sometimes have looser connective tissue uh, and you can see that this uh, tumor has invaded the entire wall of the esophagus all the way from the superficial lumen all the way throughout this big thick lump of uh, muscle and all the way throughout here I take that back it may not have gone all the way through because it looks like there's still some more smooth muscle out here, which hasn't been infiltrated by this tumor. However, look at this. Here's a very much deeper part of the smooth muscle. And uh, that has been infiltrated, hasn't it? Because you could see out here that these little glandular cells 
you have invaded even the deepest parts of the smooth muscle. Whether it extends all the way out beyond the, uh, the esophagus, we'll never know because it wasn't cut that uh, deep. However, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, uh, in a case that looks as poorly differentiated as this, as large as this, and as widely invasive as this, if it was already metastatic at the time of diagnosis. Thank you very much.